doesn't get cooler in here. I'm still sweating like crazy. But yeah, welcome to part two of my Premier League jersey preview. We're covering the next five teams. First of which will be Chelsea. So I'm wearing my Chelsea. I think it's the away jersey from 2001-2002 season. Uh, I remember I bought out the Ranieri was the coach of Chelsea back then and I met him and I kind of knew the, it was him and he saw me uh, come out of the store and I said hello and he greeted back. It was really cute in a way. Uh, yeah, that's probably the biggest coach I've ever met in person. Oh, I, it was a cool experience. Uh, again, back then I guess Chelsea, this was before the Abramovich area, was probably my favorite team. Uh, in England, but you know, meanwhile, I, I don't really have a favorite. I want to see a uh, good play, and yeah, the traditional teams I like a little bit more. Let's get to the jerseys. What do we have next up in store? We will have Chelsea, Crystal Palace, we have Everton, Fulham, and Huddersfield Town. Uh, and it's interesting because uh, this features two teams where I actually have been in the stadium. I've seen Chelsea, I've been there, and I've been at a Fulham game as well. So those are my two Premier League experiences, and I know they're not the best ones. I really gotta get up north. Uh, Liverpool, Manchester. Sometime soon, I hope. Well, let's get to it. Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea has now for the first time a dedicated Nike kit and if you look at the home jersey it almost looks like this could be the France jersey and again uh, if you look go back to part one of my video it has the two line sponsor but at least it fits the color scheme so that makes it much better and also the tires are a little bit uh, smaller of course with the Y on the one side it's a little bit it seems a little bit off center that could have been done better uh, I wonder if it would have better if there was just one big Y for Yokohama tires there. Um, as for the pattern, I think it looks cool. Could have been a France jersey even, although I definitely prefer what they were wearing at, wearing at the World Cup, but that could work too. I also like the old style crest, which, yeah, of course they are wearing for over 10 years now, but all the Chelsea jerseys that I have, two of them, have this one, so yeah. I think this one looks nice, even that the pattern continues on the back. I want to see this as a World Cup. Maybe they did a little bit too little with the um, taping here on the back. There they could have done a lot more. This is just plain blue. Uh, maybe you could have risked a white and a, a red here in a way. I think that would have made it nice. But I think this is a really a modern effort. Uh, sponsor doesn't fit quite nicely, I would say. Um, but yeah. I think it's a strong effort. I, I would give this eight stars. I even like the away shirt better. And here they did something with the taping. If you blue white, the only thing I don't like is that the Y is still red. Make it white, and it fits somehow. But this is a really, really strong, strong effort. I also think it is a classic Chelsea away color. There have been yellow away jerseys, although it reminds me more of a Juve jersey, to be honest. But I like this. It is simple. But it's bold. That that will like about it. Do I like it more than the away jersey? Did I give it a higher grade? Probably not. This is also an eight for me. But it's really, really nice one. So Chelsea has a really nice set of kits. Maybe the new coach. We get Chelsea back on top. I don't know how many will hope that. But yeah, the last season was definitely disappointing. Then we get to another London team, um, Crystal Palace. When I saw that home jersey, I thought Tibet, honestly. Although there's the Chinese writing, which is so wrong when I say Tibet, but it's uh, the Tibetan colors. If you ever find uh, somewhere in Tibet jersey, it, that's exactly how it looks like. It doesn't look like Crystal Palace to me. Um, and the sponsor again, make it yellow, it looks fine. Uh, it's also, you know, Crystal Palace with the colors could look a little bit more like Barcelona, but with the fading red here, I'm hoping Barcelona will never do that. The best thing about this one, I think, are the yellow sleeve trims. The color again, this is the Puma style that we was always of a year ago. I would love that this goes all the way around. Uh, and then the Crystal Palace crest, although classic, is also white. So I wonder a little bit why is the yellow in there? Couldn't there be a white in there and it would make a little bit more sense? Uh, it's not my favorite. That's a four star to me. Uh, at least the pattern continues back. I really don't like the fading straps. It just looks odd to me. 
the awake though is really nice with the sash uh, it's white <laughs> what a concept and then you have the sash um, again the sponsor is in black and it makes sense here because uh, if you use any of the other three colors present you wouldn't be able to read it again it's way too busy but I like the overall pattern this one I think is a strong seven uh, make a better sponsor we're talking more and do some the crest needs to stand out a little bit more the crest is hidden uh, I think you can do more with that, but that's a, that's a really like, I always like also the sash and the color scheme and that one is really, really nice. Now, Everton, hoo, hoo, hoo. Everton, I don't, yeah, we have the full uh, kit, uh, we, have, we have the full selection here. Um, the home kit is a classic unbrochured, really like that one. Uh, no frills, one line sponsor, classic uh, crest white color with button opening and then you have the umbra stripes here uh that's a straight nine that's one of that it's simple it's simple uh, a little bit unexciting but uh cannot cannot complain there's nothing i would add or subtract to that one to make it better maybe the little bit the pattern on the shirt if i look closer here but even that it gives it some texture so nice i think this is a nine for me uh then we have the away in the third jersey i don't know now which one is i Treat now the white one as the wagers and this one seems straight out of the 90s. Yes, it tries to play off of this tower symbol here with all the weird striping going on. That is the tower and then radiates outwards, but this is a 90s design and <laughs> 90s design at its worst in a way. Um, I like that they reflect the crest a little bit, so I give it some credit there. But this is somewhere we like with the Crystal Palace jersey four stars not more than that and the black jersey i hope it's the third jersey as a weight jersey it's not suited a weight jersey need to contrast with the home jersey and i know this is frequently not ha ha happening with the pink accents it looks like a cash grab to me for that and black if black is not one of your traditional colors and then pink looks like a cash grab to me uh, I even go lower than the home jersey in this one, three stars. Although the black and the pink per se is not, not, not bad, but then you have the monochromatic crest in black and pink, just not an Everton jersey. Uh, if, say, Real Madrid pulls out something like that, I think that's uh, more reasonable. Because at least the, the white and the, you have the contrast in black, and then yeah, add pink, although you don't have Ronaldo anymore. Best Real Madrid jersey when Ronaldo was there was the pink one. It fit. It just fit. Leave it at that. And then finally we have Fulham, uh, which is again equipped by Adidas. Very simple design. You have the color that I really wish they would use the old style. I know there's some restrictions to that, but you know, the nine, nine the, the color was going down here. It had this trapezoid where there was the Adidas logo uh, in there, the equipment logo. Uh, I like the chest band. I like the one um, line sponsor. But again, if you have this logo and then the name, I get it. But maybe it would have fit better here if you have, and now I'm contradicting myself, but I think it might have been fit here better if you have the duffer bed here and then the logo up here. My, especially if you have this white band. I actually like that it's framed by um, another white and another black one. Not exciting, but also not bad. And you know, black and white is, you know, my favorite team, Lusk. Well, do we have here? They won today against Lillestrøm. And yeah, black and white. Very sleek design. Six. I give it a six. And the away jersey is in dark blue with some white. The yellow sponsor ruins for me. Ruins it for me. Otherwise, this, I would have given it a higher. Maybe use even some yellow. I would give it also a six. Yeah, I think I feel com comfortable with a six here. And Huddersfield is the last one for today. So let's look at that one. Blue and white stripes. Yeah, looks actually nice. Again, two line sponsor in black. Makes sense because it is better legible this way. It also doesn't break up the striping pattern. So I think this is a plus going for it. I like the umbro design along the sleeves. Again, uh, you have the umbro diamonds there. 
uh, shoulder yoke makes makes a lot of sense. Um, the Huddersfield logo, Terriers. Yeah, that one could have been better, but it's nicely how it fits within the straps. Hmm. I think it's over a pretty strong effort. Uh, again, as it reminds me a little bit about born mouth from the beginning. Oh, no, no, no. How we're, where do I go here? I would say seven. And similar, I would say, for the away jersey, probably. Uh, that I want to actually like better. And it's probably down to the black and white, uh, but not black and red, with the white sponsor. That's a color combination I really love. So um, I go eight here. And this is just, again, I have not seen much of Huddersfield, but this is really just down to the fact that I like this color combination better. So this one is stronger. They also have a third jersey, which, yeah, that one I don't like at all. That's again a cash grab and with colors completely off. You have the neon yellow there with some navy in there and then the sponsor is outlined in a lighter blue. Color looks all weird. Oh, two. I really don't like that one. Really don't. Well, let me know what you thought about those five jerseys. Um, where do you disagree with me? Sure to disagree, I'm sure. Uh, let me know where I'm wrong, let me know where I'm right. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. One thumb is enough. Subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.